it's not the fact that the culture like getting on you because you do some of the stuff you do, but it's the fact that they care about you. They want you to make something out of your life. You're gonna be good. If I can do it and some of the other things are good, then you can do it. Like we all here trying to do the same thing and we all here for the same reason, my like, bro. Just believe in the system. Ah, Uh, good morning. Uh, yep, yeah, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou. Uh, live for you on uh, LouTube this morning. Uh, it's early today. It's about 7 o'clock. Of course, <clears throat> very important uh, person. Very busy. A lot of stuff to do, so I got hit road early this morning. But anyway, uh, I've mentioned this a couple of times before, but you guys uh, make sure if you have a Netflix uh, subscription, and first of all, if you don't have a Netflix subscription, uh, what are you doing? Uh, you need one, you're supposed to have one, uh, or steal a password from somebody or whatever. Anyway, get on your net, uh, your Netflix there and check out season two of Last Chance You. Came out yesterday, I guess, or last night sometime. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Uncle Lou is on there. Um, uh, with the with the whole Chauncey Rivers uh, deal, uh, of course you know by now Chauncey Rivers uh, recruited and signed out of high school with the University of Georgia, got arrested uh, on marijuana charges uh, three times in a seven month period, and Kirby Smart kicked him off the team in May of 2016. Uh, he then enrolled at this uh, East Mississippi Community College, which is the college uh, on Last Chance U that they that they document um, every season, or I guess this is the second season now. So, anyway, season two just came out. Um, <clears throat> check it out. Uh, it's last season. You know, they're obviously it's, they're a year behind. So what what you'll what you'll see on Last Chance U is the East uh, Mississippi Community College. Um, 2016 season and look this is a great show don't watch it because I'm on there I'm only on there for like five or ten seconds so that's not the point this is a great show you don't have to watch season one first to watch season two because it's mostly all new players that they're highlighting in season two most of the players they highlighted in season one are gone uh, to other uh, to other schools uh, now in season two um, you know, so you don't have to watch season one to watch season two, but there are some continuing storylines with the coach, the counselor, some of the assistants, um, things like that, and at least one player or two, um, I think. Uh, but anyway, um, it's a great show. Be sure you watch it. Be sure to check it out. And uh, also, let me just say this about the whole Chauncey Rivers thing before I start getting a lot of negative uh, feedback from idiot UGA fans who don't normally watch Uncle Lou and May may see this on uh, Netflix because I've been down this road uh, before with UGA fans when they when they come across one of my videos that might get shared around or something and they don't you know maybe uh, maybe they don't know who I am it's their first exposure to Uncle Lou uh, you know which is a character defect on their part but uh, that's neither here nor there for the purposes of this story um, listen I, I wish nothing uh, but the best for Chauncey Rivers. When I made that video, um, the one that showed shown on uh, on uh, on Last Chance You, th that was literally five minutes after the news broke of him getting kicked off the team. And so, those of you who have been watching me for a while, you know, y'all sort of get it. Th th these these things happen. These you know, the news breaks, the game ends, whatever it is, and you know, I, I don't, I just turn the camera on and hit record, and whatever comes out, comes out. Um, sometimes I overreact. Sometimes I, I say things at the time that, you know, maybe by the next day or something, I don't necessarily feel that way. Anyway, I, I don't think Chauncey Rivers is a bad person at all. I wish him nothing but the best. Um, I, 
you know, he, uh, in fact, we'll see him this year, uh, dog fans, because after the 2016 season, the one that's featured on, uh, on Last Chance U season two, he did sign with Mississippi State, and they play in Athens this year, so, um, I guess he's got it together, you know, we'll, we'll see, you have to watch the show, find all that out for yourself, see how he does, uh, but I wish him nothing but the best, I hope, in 11 of his 12 games this year, he's the best player on the field. In the UGA game, I hope he gets dominated and humiliated. And it's got nothing to do with him personally or the fact that he used to play for the UGA or the fact that he got caught smoking weed three times in seven months. It's just got to do with the fact that he's playing UGA that day. Uh, and, you know, that's just his own bad luck. But I have no hard feelings towards him. I wish him nothing but the best. Uh, so, uh, like I said, uh, anybody that sees this or the episode on last chance you, uh, you know, and wants to give me the usual crying about how this guy's an idiot, this guy doesn't represent UGA, this guy's not a real fan. Look, listen, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't care what you think, okay? I, you're, you know, you're not the fan judge or the fan police, okay? I do what I do, you either like it or you don't, you know, it's, it's that simple. Um, you know, so don't, don't, don't get so worked up about it. Uh, you know, don't let Uncle Lou ruin your day. Uh, if you do, you're losing, uh, and you're living life wrong. Anyway, I'll play the clip here at the end, or some of it. And, uh, oh, the other thing is, with this Hugh Freeze, I'm so mad at myself. A another perfect example here. The news breaks about Hugh Freeze. What do I do? I immediately walk out to the garage, hit record on the camera, uh, and commence yelling for two or three minutes, right? Well, I, I literally did that the second I found out Hugh Freeze had resigned. Um, I got some information that, that something was coming pretty immediately, and then literally five minutes later, um, you know, I got the news that he had resigned. So, there's a lot of stuff I left out of that video, obviously, that came out 30 and 45 minutes after he was fired. Um, and so, I may need to read, I may need to do another Hugh Freeze video! The whole uh, prostitute thing? Really? Oh my God. Anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin this video by getting off on, a, on another Hugh Freeze rant, but... If I need to make another uh, Hugh Freeze video, uh, let me know. I will. I, I might have time to do it this afternoon. So let me know if you want to see that. But anyway, here's the uh, last chance you clip. Have a great day and a good morning if you can. It's not the fact that the coaches are getting on you because you do some of the stuff you do, but it's the fact that they care about you. They want you to make something out of your life. You're going to be good. If I can do it, and some of the other athletes can do it, then you can do it. Like, we all here trying to do the same thing, and we all here for the same reason. Like, bro, just believe in the system. The system works. Just believe in it. That's like D1 when the NCAA comes to come drug test. They're drug test for a week. But now your university is supposed to test up to, three, up to once every three months. You're supposed to have a team test every three months. They can have a random one ever. But you've been there, you know. You can't play it. You can't play it. You can't control your life. But no, it's not that they control your life. It's just like anything else. You can't. It's certain things you just can't do with the job or the career that you're trying to pursue yeah. because you're different. You feel like you got to do drugs and you don't want to be drug tested? Then guess what? Don't play football. That's just that simple. Real simple, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Think, People make it hard, but it ain't hard. It's real simple. <laughs> real simple. It's real simple. Defensive lineman Chauncey Rivers arrested for marijuana. Typically, that, that's not a huge deal. I mean, a large percentage of college students, uh, you know, smoke a little bit of the sticky icky. Uh, you know, so, you know, is the guy a serial killer? No. But, but, but three times in seven months, this guy's been busted for weed. Uh, hello, Chauncey. What are you doing? But you knew that you could lose every, like, you I knew, know. like, if I fail one more drug test, I'm done. I know. And you did it anyway. So, like, I would say, okay, that means you have a problem. This is what my mom said. But you went through the treatment and you still don't think you had a problem. 
I don't picture myself enjoying it because I can sit there and not smoke weed. But it's like, man, let me get, let me just hit this one blunt. Then one turn into two. Bad decision after bad decision. Do you feel like you're doing it every day? Yeah. Just weren't, didn't you get caught like in your car or something? Yeah. What happened? It was, <laughs> You, like passed out in your car? No. You know what I'm saying? I just happened to like doze off real quick. 